Hello and welcome back. In this episode, I'll be finishing off the sidewall assemblies. That means finishing off the lower sidewalls, mounting the quarter seals and rebuilding the windows. I'll also get to attach, as you can see behind me, the sidewalls to the front assembly finally. Now this is post editing because obviously the first video was way too long. This video is way too long and I've had to cut it up. And here's where we are with the build. Okay, so here's yesterday's attempt. I now realise what I did wrong, and that was, it's down to my mathematics. I need 106.7 degrees on the slope, so I minus 90 degrees to give me the angle for, me for the circular saw here, and for some reason I got to 26 when it should have been 16. Terrible mathematics. And that's what led to the failure of number five. So. Here's number six all set up ready to go. Got a new saw blade as well, which means I'm hoping it's gonna cut a lot quicker now. Let's see how we get on. It's one of the better cuts I've done. It actually looks how it should. Got a little bit of excess to take off. Hopefully the sander will make this look absolutely perfect. I hope so. Six time lucky as they say. So finally, I've got the left hand side done. It looks good. We're back inside. I've changed my t-shirt. It's a lot cooler. Wow, it's hot out there. The left hand sill is finally done. That too took three attempts. So bored of cutting this inside angle here. It's done now. The angles are right on the inside and I managed to cut the window guide in as well with the router. Now, all these parts you can see in front of me left and right here, they're from the CNC machine and there to go on the front of the sill underneath to add the feature that fits at the bottom. Time to fit that now. That's the bottom sill feature fitted. I'm gonna head outside and give it a quick sand to make it look a little bit better. It's a good job these aren't actually getting fitted to an aircraft because I can tell you now, that's quite heavy. Catch you in a bit. Before I do the final assembly of the left hand side here, there's one more thing I need to do, which I have been putting off because it means taking them all apart again, and that's to put the holes for the dedicated units in the panels. So, deep breath, I've stripped these down, and then take them out to the CNC machine for them to cut the holes. And that actually came apart quite easily. A lot quicker than I expected. Off to the CNC machine.
That's the panels all stripped down. The CNC machine has cut its holes. It's now time for final assembly. So I'm going to fit the forward trim now and I just need to measure 140 millimetres across. And that's where it goes. That's the base done, it's now time to fit the sill. If I put this on, it will sit kind of in the right position, but we need to put some blocks on the back to attach it to properly. To attach the sill, I've made these angled blocks and they're just simply going to screw in from the front and then from underneath to support it in various places along the back. Easy, eh? Let's hope so. Well, that one's on. I'm gonna make another one for here. I need to attach the sill here to the window three base and simply to the screw from behind three times. And the last part for this window assembly is the window handle cover, which hopefully will just slot on like that. A quick screw just to hold her in place temporarily, like so. And that is how this window assembly is going to look. Now it's time to mount it to the base. With the forward end securely attached, I'm now just gonna drill a couple of holes in here and then pin it from this way as well. Well, 
But here we are, the two side walls are built. Now it's time to attach them to the front section. In order to do that, I've made some spacers at the exact dimensions in certain places. And the first thing I need to do is cut the quarter seals out of the MIP. So I just need to cut the MIP back slightly to allow the quarter seal to fit in nice and snug and allow the whole unit to come this way. For this next part it's really messy and that's using the electric plane and sander which creates lots of dust. So I'm moving the sim outside to do all the dirty work. With the windows fixed, it's now time to shape them. That's the right hand side done, now to do the left hand side. And that's it for this episode. Again, a little bit longer than I was expecting, but a lot of work has gone in over the last 10 days. In the next episode, I'll be building the overhead assembly. Until then, I'll catch you later.